All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to install a half hot switch and plug. So it's just gonna be a normal switch um, inside of the box right here. But for the plug, there is a special process that you have to do to make the half hot work. And I'm gonna show you that here real quick. But first I wanted to show you guys, I just temporarily put in my uh, glow in the dark linemans just in case I need them for one of these videos, but um, I haven't really shown you guys this if you follow me on Instagram You've seen it, but um, super awesome. Love these um, Definitely replacing those as my linemans if I ever do use them, but those are about 40 bucks and uh, Can't wait to use them. So anyways moving on into today's video um, As you remember from last time where I left this just pull out your wires after you're done roughing in your box and you're ready to install them. Um, this is just gonna be like a normal switch. Uh, you have your power right here and this is technically your switch leg but it's just going down to the plug. So it's just gonna hook up to a normal switch like normal. Gonna have your ground and your um, two um, black wires right there. So it doesn't matter which one goes to which, it's still just a normal on off switch. Um, so go ahead and hook that up as normal. I'm not going to show you that. We've already gone over that before, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this process and meet you back here in a second. All right, so I went ahead and installed the switch right there, and I already installed the whip right here, so it's ready to plug into the power once I'm done installing the plug. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the plug now, so I'll meet you down there. All right, so once you're down here, go ahead and pull out your wires for your box. If you remember, I left these super long, so I actually might cut these off. Uh, I'm just trying to save as much wire as possible. So I'll try to leave me some pigtails for later that are decently sized. So um, once again, only cut these if the power's off all at once. Um, so once again, the main part of this video is the half hot. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to rip off this little gold tab right here between this little plate holding them together. So you're gonna rip this little piece off right here. If you do it on the wrong side, on the silver screw side, the plug's not gonna work. This is the neutral side, you don't wanna break that side. So you're gonna break the tab on the gold side, which um, basically once you have the power on, once you have the, the black wire on here, it sends the power through both of them. So um, that allows both sides of the plug to work. If, if you rip the tab off, and you put the hot wire on one side, only that side is going to work. And the switch side is switching the power, so only that side is gonna be switched. So hopefully that made sense. But sometimes this can be tricky to break this tab off. Depends on the plug. Uh, as you can see right here, I got this. It's not gonna focus at all. Um, anyways, I have it right here. Um, so it's not focusing at all, so. Anyways, rip the tab off so now it is gone in between there. As you can see, it's in the middle of my pliers. So I got that torn off. And so depending on which side that you want to be switched, that's where you're gonna put your switched wire. So in this case, I have my black wire as my constant power. Um, so the side that I want constantly on is going to be on that side. I'll show you that, I'll show you that in a second. Um, I'm going to curl all of these because I'm not gonna stab them in and try to take them out. So give me a second here while I curl all of these ladies. And then once again, always gonna curl your ground wire. And if you have uh, pigtails or multiple wires in here, you can do that or wire nut them together and pigtail them as well. So um, let me grab my drill here real quick, save some time for the video. So you're gonna go ahead and of course land your ground wire as always and your neutral wire. Those are gonna stay the same, so ground to ground. And then you're gonna take your white, your neutral, and then you're gonna put that on your silver screw. It doesn't matter which silver screw. Um, set as a plate and it shares. And then, so if I want, my, if I want the plug to always have power on the bottom, I'm gonna put the black wire on the bottom because that's my constant power. If I want constant power on the top plug um, to be always on, then I'm gonna put that on the top. 
So I always go with the constant power on the bottom. So I'm gonna put the constant power on the bottom. So the bottom one is gonna be always be on. And because my red wire is my switched wire, my switch leg. So I'm gonna put that one on the top. So the top outlet is gonna be switched from the switch above. So that's what it's gonna look like. And that's pretty much it. Um, so just go ahead and stuff that back of the box. Make sure your ground wire isn't touching anything. Screw it inside to complete. All right, so now we are ready to plug this in and I do not have the cord, so I'm gonna go grab that and show you guys what that looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and this is in the off position right now. So here we go, plug that baby in. So we have our switch right here. Um, as you can see, nothing's blown up. But as there's no light or anything, so um, the plug on the bottom is always gonna be on. So if I did this right and everything is plugged in correctly, and the garage circuit is on, I'm gonna have constant power there. So when I hit the switch, it's not gonna affect it. The power is always there. And then once again, if I go to plug in the my plug tester in the top, when I hit the switch, it's gonna turn the power on and then turn it off, it's gonna be off. So on, off. And that's how half hot switch works. So power is always on one side and the outlet, other side is switched by the switch, the other outlet is switched by a switch right here, whether that's a single, a three-way or a four-way. I'm gonna go over those later. Someone was asking, make some specialty videos on how to do a three-way, four-way, half hots, and I'll go over that. Um, it's basically just the same process, just putting your switch leg um, on the outlet, but I'll go over that. And also want to um, make some videos. Someone was asking about some term videos, so I'll go over that. Um, sooner, hopefully rather than later. And there was one other thing I was gonna go over, uh, but you'll see that coming up when I remember. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully this video helped you out. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, it would help the channel out. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. I appreciate the support. Um, check the description down below for anything else. Um, the link tree, especially in the first link. And, um, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. And I just downloaded Halo Infinite Beta, that's out. If you wanna know how to download that, check out my second channel. But it's for free, you don't need Xbox Live to play, or and you can play on PC. So if you guys wanna play some um, Halo Infinite multiplayer with me, make sure to hit, hit up my link tree, check that out, and add me. See you guys in the next one. God bless, have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.